it's Kay from Crafting with Kay here with a whipping chat I know it's been a couple of weeks since uh, I've recorded a whipping chat honestly not much has happened I was actually going to do one last week but time kind of got away from me and next thing you know I was like well never mind I'll wait till next week um so yeah how, how is everybody getting on how are you all doing I am currently working on uh, Wisdom from Diamond Art Club. The artist is JJ's Arts. I'm doing this one um, as part of a um, comparison. So hopefully there'll be a video up uh, before too long once this is done. And yeah, I'll show you a comparison between getting a, a license piece the difference between the quality and everything to that of a um, stolen piece so yeah that will be uh, coming up on my channel at some point I have spoken to um, Jonas on via email and I have his permission to do the comparison video the last thing I wanted to do was do something and he'd not be uh, be on board with it so I bought the um, other one before I knew any better while I was still quite new so yeah, and this way it gets it done out of my stash, and oh, honestly I'm glad to be rid of that one, that was a nightmare to work on. But what, what projects are we all working Is everyone else working on at the moment? Uh, if anyone else, this pen is from Amazon. I just typed in diamond painting pen. I just like that bit. It's quite funky. It's my first proper diamond painting pen instead of just using what comes out of the toolkit. And I've got two cover minders on there here at the moment. These are from my friend uh, Teresa. Um, I did an unboxing or unbagging, whatever of these, the other day. But I'm waiting for something else to turn up, and then I can put the two uh, videos together in into one video. So I've just got to wait for that to arrive. And then that will go up. But I was like, I'm not waiting to use these. I want to use them now. So I pre-recorded that little opening, as it were. <laughs> I was wondering, does anyone have any questions for me? Whether it's about my crafts or about me. Sorry about that. Um, that you'd like me to answer in a weapon chat? Or are you happy me just to reply to comments? I'm loving how everyone is loving my daughter <laughs> and her cute little voice and stuff she is as i often reply to people she's cute but she's a mischief maker so yeah don't be don't be fooled by the cute voice and the da -da 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 -da. of what she usually does let's just move this up a little bit because i can't because i keep hitting let's see can i do anything about the light and Let's have a look. Let's bring this light over here a bit more. Because I can see it all fine. But you guys maybe can't. Maybe that's a bit better. I don't know. We'll stick with that. It's right by my head. <laughs> so yeah, I'm literally on the last sort of home stretch now for this picture. I really can't wait to start my next one. It is huge. If you've uh, seen the unboxing, you've just seen the size of it. It's a... Um, that one is called, <coughs> sorry, Gingerbread House, and it's from Diamond Art, uh, Diamond Art Studio UK, and yeah, that'll be my second kit from them. They're pretty, uh, pretty good, especially if you're in the UK. They have um, all their stock here, so it actually gets to you super quick. I think I got mine within like two or three days of ordering, so I was like, hell's yeah. And then between all of the diamond painting, I've been getting into some uh, black work and some cross stitch. So yeah, starting to branch out a bit. Pinging me drills everywhere. Whoops. So yeah, last last Wednesday was my birthday. So I'm now officially 30. Part of the 30 club. <coughs> uh, where are you going? Okay, she's going for a wonder. And uh, I'm going to have my tea out of my new cup. Once I drunk a bit more of it, I'll show you it properly. <clears throat> it's like a witch's cauldron. It's awesome. Which is just great. I think it's so cool and different. Which is what I like. I like unique things. 
So yeah, that was fun. I refused to cook for my birthday, so it was the first time we had uh, Chinese in like over a year. So that was nice. And then uh, a few days after that, so my birthday was on Wednesday. <clears throat> my partner's birthday was on Saturday. <laughs> so yeah, so there's two of us quite close together. And he has a twin brother, so that's another birthday. And it was really weird this year. Usually we just, because uh, our birthdays are so close together, we usually do a uh, joint um, thing or something. But actually it was really odd. But also quite nice just kind of doing our own things this year. Um, honestly, I'm not much of a go out and do a ton of stuff anyway type of person. So for me this was actually, uh, lockdown's been a good excuse not to do anything crazy for my birthday. It would have been nice to go out for a meal, but I always just go out for a meal for my birthday, so I'm like, yeah. Takeaway's close enough. It means I don't have to get all dressed up and stuff and can just chill out. Which is quite nice. Hey, sweetie. What's up? You want to say hi to the people? Uh, no? Uh, oh, okay, bye. <laughs> she just grabbed my hand. <laughs> I was like, mm, no, never mind. So, yeah, so we've had... Lots of birth so we've had a couple birthdays, had plenty of cake. Um yeah, other than that, it's just kind of been the standard. New variant is uh around and about at the moment, so everyone's extra cautious. Uh, I think it's the South African variant, I don't know. But for anyone who doesn't know, yeah, I'm in the UK. I'm in Essex. So far so good. <laughs> Yeah, we're in uh, lockdown season three. <laughs> Have been since I think the country went into lockdown early January, maybe. It didn't really change much for where I was because we was already in um tier three or four, whatever the highest tier. I don't know. I lose track. It all gets crazy, but yeah, we was already in the highest tier anyway before Christmas, so. The way it works is I think essentially the highest tier is a localised lockdown essentially. And now the whole country is in a lockdown so I don't know. So yeah, keeping, keeping busy with everything. That's why actually I have been enjoying making the videos and editing them and popping them up and trying my hand at cross stitch and black work. Is it black work? Yeah, black work. Whoops. I don't want to do that. Um, and yeah, just working on, you know, trying to be a good mom for Pickle. She's got this weird thing at the moment. Sorry, she keeps shaking you up today. She doesn't like pasta. Like, why don't you like pasta? I love pasta. Your dad loves pasta. She used to love spaghetti bolognese. Now, she is two. She hates cutlery and loves using her fingers. She's very te uh, tactile. Uh, so now what she's started to do as well, even though it's spaghetti <clears throat> and not pasta, it, same difference to me. But um, yet she'll eat around the spaghetti now and just get all the mince and the sauce. Uh, but we've also discovered she absolutely loves a good uh, cottage pie. So that's cool. And she tried stewing dumplings for the first time the other day. I am not the biggest fan of stew. Uh, but it's my partner's favourite meal. It's like, okay, it's your birthday. Go on then. Google how to make a stew. <laughs> Get all the ingredients. So yeah, that was fun. Spent all day slow cooking a stew. It wasn't too bad, to be honest. I was surprised to find that celery is one of the ingredients and I was like, wait, what? Okay. And the one I did as well had spinach with it as well. I was like, okay, I'll try that. It wasn't actually too bad. I'll, I'll be honest, it weren't too bad. So I've promised him every winter he can have maybe two stews in the whole winter period. <laughs> so he's happy about that arrangement. <laughs> but I have also said to him that, uh, you know, He's more than welcome to make it whenever he wants. But if you want me to make it, yeah, not going to happen that often. I'm sorry. <laughs> Why cook something you don't like? 
Pika wasn't too keen on it either. She did all right and she enjoyed. I'm glad that she's not shy about trying new foods. But it wasn't really a cup of tea, bless her. Let's see. I swear this fox is Eevee from Pokemon. I'm sure it's supposed to be a cute little fox cub or something. But yeah, it's Eevee from Pokemon. I swear to God. <laughs> Uh, next pack. Do this one. So yeah, my next one. I'm looking forward to kitting that up. Um, it's gonna be so many drills, and it's a square, and it's sixty by ninety. I can't remember how many colours. There wasn't actually too that many colours compared to the size. So I'm not too sure how long that will take to kit up <laughs> and get started. But, you know, it's going to be good fun. And once I do do it, I'm going to, I want to give it to my daughter's uh, preschool because they've been so good with her. She's really enjoyed uh, being there. She gets all excited to go. She goes every, on Wednesdays, she's starting to do four days now. And she is loving it. She's exhausted and tired by the time she gets home, but she is loving it. Um... And then Thursdays and Fridays, she just goes in for the morning. Uh, originally, she just did all mornings. And then Wednesday, she'd stay for lunch club as a treat. But no, she's doing really well. Um, the staff there are so nice. Given the world that we're living in at the moment with the whole pandemic as well. Um, they've been super informative and you see exactly what sort of steps they're doing to try and keep everyone safe. But it's been helping her development so much um, that we don't want to stop her going. Sorry, slurping tea. Because until like a week or so ago, she hadn't been there since before Christmas because they had it all shut down tight. They made sure the t uh, staff were tested like twice uh, before opening up again and stuff. And I just like that they keep you all in the loop. They all get like the temperature checked and you sanitise their hands before they go in and stuff and yeah. They're doing the best that they can. So yeah, that picture will be going to them once it's uh, all done. I hope if I flip that right way around. There we go. So yeah, I don't know how I'm going to frame it yet. Because it's huge. It's going to be the biggest one I've worked on so... I don't know, usually when I frame, I just get the standard, you know, uh, what do you call them, like a box frame? It's not a box, but you know, the all four sides are covered and it's behind some plexiglass or something. So I might end up trying the magnetic uh, top and bottom frames, maybe? But at the same time, the kids there are kind of like between two and five. So they might scratch away at it. So I'm thinking behind glass would be better. Just got to search for it. Don't know why I haven't done that yet. But I've not been bothered to <laughs> search for it yet. Maybe on Amazon or eBay or something. I miss popping into, cha into like charity shops and stuff. You can find some really weird things in there. And they usually come in handy. If not, my local pound stretcher is open. Might might pop in there, see if they've got any uh, large pictures, like at a reduced rate or something. And I can swap them over. Maybe that's the way to do it. I don't know. Has anyone done that before? I don't know. Let's see. What to report? It's not really... That's the thing. This is why I haven't done a whipping chat in a little bit. Because I'm like, what's there to say? Hmm. I got up again, I did some crafting, chased after the little one. Is there anything new? Not really. I say the biggest news was we had birthdays. <laughs> and even then it's not like a oh we went out and did this, this and this. No, we just stayed in, got some takeaway, had a chill out day. Got some more diamond paintings. Here's a question actually. Would anyone, does anyone know if anyone is in May holding some sort of DP theme 
of space or Star Wars because I've got I've been given a massive Yoda I think it's a 60 by 70 is huge uh, Yoda to do and I'm tempted to start it in May because you know May the 4th be with you I know I'm so funny <laughs> no. but yeah I was wondering if anyone knows of anything going on if not I might do my first uh, DP along as it were no prizes or anything just for fun um, a little bit like how uh, Hiker from Stone Cold Coffee Crafts uh, does her TB themes of the month. I might see if she's doing something like that for me. Because if not, I might do that. Would anyone be interested? I'd probably do some just like the theme of space. So it could be planets, it could be uh, the moon, rocket ships, planets, um, Star Trek, Star Wars. Battlestar Galactica, whatever. If anyone's got any uh, info for me, please give me a little message or write in the comments. That'd be quite helpful. I don't know if you can hear her, but she's quite happy giggling away. She's kind of laid out, stretched on the floor, kicking the sofa, watching her show, <laughs> being a little excited about it. It's usually Dougie. I love Hey Dougie, to be fair. Uh, but no, this morning at the moment it's a uh, word party. Which is annoyingly catchy. <laughs> it is. She's just cuckoo cuckooing. Cuckoo cuckoos. <laughs> what other crafts does everyone... Uh, do when they're not diamond painting or is there anything you're thinking of doing I'm actually quite enjoying the whole sewing uh, side of things and following a pattern diamond painting is so much easier because the pattern's laid out before you all you got to do is go dab dab <laughs> it really doesn't require much brain power um, so yeah it's really nice to do but on the other hand, it's quite nice to challenge myself a bit. So yeah, what, what do we ever get up to when we're not done with painting? That is the question for today, I think. What do we do? And now I've got what do we do with the drunken sailor in my head. Yay! So yeah, it's got four feet, like two over here, two on the other side, and it's shaped like a little cauldron. Partner got me that for, for uh, my birthday. I love it. So if it's weird and it's wacky, I'm going to like it. Excuse you, Miss Tooty Bottom. That'd be funny if you heard a little toot. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, you run up, up. You run up and down the hallway. That's fine. <laughs> right, so she can't wait to get back out the house again. But it's just been so wet. It's really not. It seems like everywhere in the UK is getting snow, but us. And that's just not fair. I really want to take her out in it and just let her run around and explore. And but nope, we just get the drizzly, drizzly rain. Isn't that great? To be fair, she loved just standing out in the rain because we was playing outside once. She was in her raincoat. And, uh, yeah, it started to spit. I was like, okay, no worries, we'll go in in a minute. Then out of nowhere, just torrential rain everywhere. She thought it was hilarious. She was loving it. And I'm just standing there getting all wet and grumpy because I'm getting all wet. And, but I couldn't, didn't have the heart to take her in because, well, she was all protected with a little rain suit anyway and she was having a blast so I was like okay this was last year I think since then I'm like no I don't really want to just stand here getting wet you can run around and enjoy puddles and the ripples they make and stuff but I'm just I want to go in so what are you up to little miss crashing into stuff are we 
think I need to tie her hair back again. She keeps flicking it out of her face. <laughs> She's never had a haircut. Mostly because I don't know what to ask for. I really need a haircut. But at least with mine, I know I'd say uh, I just want enough so I can make a simple ponytail and that's it. Because at the moment it's halfway down my back. I never do anything with my hair anyway. Mostly because um, I have fibromyalgia and joint hypermobility syndrome. Basically, I have a lot of joint problems. Um, and with my arms and my shoulders, it's hard to keep my arms above me, if that makes any sense. Um, so if I'm like talking on the phone, I often have to keep switching my arms around because it aches and borderline hurts if it's a long phone call. Or I'll put someone on speakerphone. Just so I don't have to hold my phone, my phone up. <clears throat> Same reason I never use an umbrella. I just physically cannot uh, hold an umbrella up uh, for a long time, so it makes it pointless. So I just have a hood and a water-resistant <laughs> and windproof coat. I love my coat. It's not fashionable, but it's purple and it keeps me warm and dry. So it does its job. I'm all about the comfort. Don't give a shit about the, the fashion or what looks good. I'm about comfort. If it's comfy, I'm liking it. If not, why? Why would I waste my money on you? So, yeah. You doing your laps? Yeah? Yeah, she's just literally running in and out of the room. Doing a thing. That's fine. Just leave me in peace to do this. Because I don't have too much left to do. I've just literally got... Let's see if I can raise you up enough. That's it. This is all I've got to do. So, yeah. Hopefully I'll have this done in a couple of days. Would be nice. Because honestly, I really can't wait to start uh, the gingerbread. And here's a shocker. When I uh, unboxed it, it's a square. And the squares all came all bagged up and ready to go. I was like, wow, I've only ever seen that with rounds. Sweet. Don't mind if I do. I mean, I'm still going to kit you up and put it in my containers and stuff. But whatever leftover drawers and stuff, I don't need to worry about labelling up. Sweet. What, would people want to see how I store leftover drills and stuff? Would that interest you? I can't remember if I've already done a video like that in the early in the early days last year when I started my channel. But if you want to see a, um, an updated version maybe, let me know in the comments. <coughs> hey Pterodactyl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when, when, when she does a high pitch thing. No, Mama. She still won't say mama. But yeah, when she goes all high-pitched, I call her pterodactyl. Because <laughs> she sounds like a pterodactyl. <laughs> or in my mind, she does. <laughs> I don't know. Might help if you see where I'm going. There we go. You say mama. Nope, she runs away. <laughs> One day it's going to click in her head. That sounds can form words and words mean stuff and then there's gonna be no shutting her up she's gonna be like a dada <laughs> and i'll be like no too fair it's, it's so sweet listening to her babble yeah it is because she's all cute you having fun <laughs> She's having a blast. <laughs> Bless her. You say, hey. Say, nope. Why should I do anything you say? Yeah. She keeps getting in trouble lately, bless her. <laughs> she's definitely at the stage where she's pushing boundaries to see what she can and can't do. 
So yeah, it's a lot of no and no Kira and stop that or get away from it. And <laughs> her nasty habit, for some reason, she started doing is running her fingers down the uh, TV screen. It's like no, she's never in her life been allowed to touch the TV. Why she suddenly thinks she can, I don't know. I honestly don't know why she thinks all of a sudden it's a good idea. So, yeah. That seems to be our biggest thing this week. Is saying no to touching of the TV. So that's great. <laughs> but apart from that, we're, we're all plodding along. So yeah, let me know how you guys are all doing and what projects you're working on. Uh, if you like the idea of doing like a space themed May, uh, yeah, keep us, let me know in the comments below. Uh, you can find me on Instagram, but to be fair, I don't use Instagram that much mostly because I don't understand it. I'm a Facebook person. I might have to create a Facebook page or something uh, and link it because I honestly don't understand Instagram much. I use it to share that I've got a new video up. But then I've noticed, it took me a long time to notice this, <clears throat> you can't click on links that you share on Instagram. I don't know why that is, but I'm still posting pictures of the videos and then adding a link. I don't know if that's even doing anything. But yeah, um, I might think about creating a little um, Facebook page or something. Just to link up, because it'd be nice to be able to um, share with you guys um, outside of this. But I don't have a um, community tab, because I think I need to have a th at least a thousand subscribers. And I'm doing well, but I'm not doing well enough to have a thousand yet, so. <laughs> Hello, sweetie. Okay, you want apricot? Say ta. Let's see if you can get a hand. Ta? 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 Don't pull my hand. Get the apricot. There you go, ta. Good girl. There you go. You've got a cure hand. <laughs> <clears throat> but yeah, I don't. I have over just over 150 now, I think, which is fantastic. Thank you guys, love you all. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be a long time until I can get a community tab, so I might might faff around and try and sort out some sort of Facebook page, maybe. I don't know. You right there, chicken? <coughs> she's fine <laughs> um so yeah i might faff around with facebook i'm not too sure to be fair facebook facebook is my jam i can now say i'm 30 so i don't know if it's just because <laughs> i'm in the right age bracket for it or something i don't understand instagram i don't have twitter <laughs> again i didn't understand twitter I got it for a brief moment, like, a couple years ago. Didn't understand it or see the point of it. I thought Facebook was a lot easier and simpler to use, so... Yeah, Facebook it is. Must be my age or something, but I really don't get all the other platforms, <laughs> I'll be honest. Um, so, yeah, if you'd be interested in uh, joining some sort of Facebook... A group or page or whatever I end up coming up with I don't know let me know as well but for now I think I'll leave that here wow 30 minutes practically sweet considering I just waffled on about nothing <laughs> like I say sorry there haven't been many whiffing chats but there's just nothing to really say while we're all kind of stuck indoors <clears throat> yeah you want another one you say ta or end you with this. You want it? Ta. Good girl. I think we'll end it there. 
So until next time, people, not Kira, Kira, you're staying here with me. <laughs> so until next time, people, take care, stay safe.